Hi, my name is Emma Bergic. I'm 30 years old and I stopped with my professional tennis career seven years ago. In the meantime, I built my own business and I had two beautiful kids. But now I decided to go again on professional tour and give myself another chance. And I decided to do these weekly vlogs to show you behind the scenes of what it takes to be a professional tennis player. So thank you so much for supporting this journey and I hope you enjoy these vlogs. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you um are you doing a good job at summer camp? Yes. Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> so we're we're doing first half. I don't know if you noticed. We're doing drills and stuff, mm -hmm. and then later after games. snack break we're gonna do games. Yeah. Yay. What's your favorite game? Well, I love King of the Court. Wait, don't wait. You Oh, Jose, you're playing hot potato. Hot potato. Hot potato. Like, yeah. like you can't use, you can't use like your, wait, you can't use your hands. Your hands. Then you can use anything else. Like, like you can't like grab the it. The kids are working hard. Nice, Cristiano. True, because good job, Cristiano. Yeah, so probably it's just middle. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, let's go see what they're doing. Guys, are you having a good time? No. No. Are you tired? Um, yeah. Yes? We'll try and say hi. Hi. <laughs> I guess this group is not having that much fun. They're tired. Hey, right, Jake? Soon we're gonna have a snack break. Yeah. We're gonna do a snack break today at 1040, Maria. Yeah, so you have 15 that? more minutes and then snack break. We're going in the AC. It's not that hot this week. Last week it was way hotter, right? Yeah, there was a heat wave. Yeah, it was a heat wave. Okay, I'll let's go. Good day so far. Um, my my butt still hurts, but whatever. I'm not focusing on that. <laughs> like you, what I would say, just listen to your body, accept it. I'm accepting this pain. It's annoying, but it's it is what it is now. And uh, oh my god, uh, there's a lot going on, but. A lot of like bad things in my person in my personal life, like with all the stupid divorce and lawyers and all that is still going on. I feel like it will never stop. Honestly, I'm like I don't see it stopping. But yeah, um, but I'm proud of myself how I'm like pretty positive throughout this whole thing and focusing on on my things and I have people that are supporting me, people that are here for me and um which is which is a huge 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 thing. Uh, I went I recorded a video a little bit of the I do hydrofacials once uh once a month with my good friend Danielle. She has a Ciao Bella Med Spa here in PGA, Palm Beach Gardens area. So if you're local and you're watching this, I highly, highly recommend her. Ciao Bella Med Spa. I've done hydrofacials with her. I also did that vampire facial as well. Um, and then, yeah, I've been going to her maybe for a year. That's why my skin is so beautiful. <sighs> I'm kidding. It's probably not that beautiful, but. I have more breakouts lately because I'm sweating more, so that's not fun. Um, then I had big lunch. I found some gyro place here. I love gyros and I'm so full right now and I have to practice now. Um, do a little bit workout of what my trainer sent me and now I am uh, yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot going on. 
But yeah, I'm going to train now and then finish work tonight. Hopefully, I'm not gonna be in that much pain today. Let's see. Inside of the house, you are feeling like this. Perfect. 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 Yeah. One. You can pass the line. Always back. Careful with this. Okay. You can pass the line. Bravo. You can pass the line. Okay. Go. Vamos. Close this time now. Three. Come on. Vamos. You can get up. You a little bit more. Go. Eight change. Bien. Vamos. Bien. Vale, vale, vale. Dice que tú te pases de live. Vamos, from now. Ok, good evening. Um, practice went actually pretty well. I mean, I was moving a little bit more, but I've been really like working through pain. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's good or bad or who knows who knows um but it's better i guess than just sit at home and not do anything i guess that's that's it um i mean i only worked on forehands again if after all of this my forehands don't become like really good then i don't know i don't know <laughs> i quit I'm kidding. I'm drinking here fresh coconut water. Um, one of my friends squeezed coconuts. Hold on, squeeze. Open the coconuts and just get the fresh coconuts. So I've been drinking for the last few days quite a lot of this. It tastes so much different than the coconut water you buy in the store. It's not as sweet, and I guess that's because it's all natural. So yeah, this is good. Good way to get electrolytes. Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's. I don't know even what I got. So let's see what I got. We're gonna we're gonna record that here. Okay, let's start. Organic apricots. I really like these from Trader Joe's. They're really good. I feel like Trader Joe's should like pay me for promoting them all the time. Okay. This is not good. Oh, I'm so bad with my setups. Really bad. It doesn't matter. I'm going to keep it here. Okay. Apricots. Apples. I don't know. I don't like these apples, honestly, but I'm getting them because of my kids. My Teo, my older one, loves red apples, but they have to be red. So, so yeah, I got these for him. I prefer the the yellowish ones. As I was leaving for the checkout, I couldn't resist, so I got this. Uh, I tried this one time. It was so good, blueberry and lemon hand pies. So good. I think I'm gonna have it tomorrow with coffee I'm trying to like start I'm trying to like more kombucha I don't know if I'm so far the ones that I tried I didn't really like so I'm trying this passion fruit and tangerine flavor fingers fingers crossed I like it actually let me put it down let's see if I'm oh god oh god okay well this is great I guess I'm not supposed to shake it. Lesson learned. Okay, let's see if I like this flavor. If I don't, then it was a waste of, I don't know, three and a half dollars. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, I guess. I don't. No, it's not. I don't really like it. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next bag. Oh, this bag. Bananas. Eggs. Got 
I tried this the other night. It's it's this like sparkling Italian wine cocktail frizzante with peach if ever anybody comes over and we want to have a drink, but I don't know if I'll ever. I mean, yeah, sometimes I drink, I guess. I like this couscous from there. I got these bamba for the kids. They really like these. I'm gonna try the salad tonight. I'm gonna make chicken and lemony arugula basil salad kit. Let's see. Dried mangoes, love these. Peanut butter pencils. I love these cucumber and citrus face and body wipes. wipes. Organic whole milk. I got these chicken, like breaded shape. I don't know. I don't know. Chicken thingies for the kids. Because I do like these. I'm going to tell them that these are the chicken dinosaur ones. And then I got some ground turkey because with this I make, uh, I make the pasta. I really like it. That's it. I'm gonna make some chicken now and then I'm gonna have the salad with it. Okay, I wanted to share my favorite seasoning of all times. God. So, so this is it here. I don't know why it's, this is a new brand, but the name is Vegeta. It's the best seasoning ever, ever. It's like growing up, this is all my mom used. I think she uses it in everything. So literally this is all I'm going to put on my chicken. Here, I go like this, right, right. I really need somebody to follow me around and record it here. I'm going to turn it uh, around and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to put it here and that's it. That is it. I'm going to have this beautiful salad. I had a, I had a gyro today at some Greek place. Oh. I was so full the whole day. So I'm just gonna have a little bit tonight. Not gonna eat a lot. Okay, this morning I'm at a different location. This is in Olympia in Wellington. This is where I live. Um, and we have cardio tennis going on there. As you can see, eight women doing cardio tennis with Coach Pranay. Uh, I have Carlos this morning with me. We're going to record my strokes. Um, oh my God, my butt really hurts. It really hurts, oh my God. So, I'm gonna record my forehand and my backhand. He has a drone, he has everything. All the equipment, so I'm excited for this. This is gonna be fun. I just had an hour lesson, and yeah. Okay, so here I am with Carlos, yes. and I've been complaining about my injuries a lot, and he is telling me that I need to drink one beer a day or a week. Uh, once a week is good. Once, once a week. Once a week. Yeah, because Why? because um. The ingredients on the on the beer have a gist, yeah, and the uh, gist is a catalyzer that uh, accelerate the chemical processes, and then no matter what the reco the recovery of anything in your body is a chemical process. Everything that happens in your body is a chemical process, and then that gist that in 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 the beer can help to accelerate that process. Mm. That's so, the thing. But can I can I get can I get that yeast from somewhere else? Yes. 
Some bread? Bread. <laughs> but I don't recommend the bread because the bread have a lot of other things. But yeah, but, but beer also has alcohol. Uh, but who said the alcohol is bad? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol is not bad. When you get injured, like, a, yes. what, what, what do you put in your, in, in, yeah, yeah alcohol, you know, that, yeah. that's good, that's good. I mean, I, I guess one... No, but the, but the percentage of the alcohol in the beer is really low. And I'm not sure if you're going to get, you know, better, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to enjoy it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will enjoy bread too. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe I have like bread and beer. Yeah. And no, I'm gonna be so healthy. The, the point, the point with yeah, this know, is the, is the gist that it's a catalyzer, yes. and you need to accelerate yes. your recovery process. Yeah. That's the point. But the in the past, a uh, long time ago, when I used to be an athlete, um, my trainers always said that you have to get like a baby aspirin once a week. Yes, yes. Because the baby aspirin make the, yes. the more, um, yeah. less, um, more, more fluent the yes, blood yes. and it's gonna accelerate the process. Yes, too. yes. Somebody else told me this the other Not day. too much because yeah. it's, you know. How much would you? Like the baby aspirin once a week. Once a week, yeah, I have to get it. I was actually gonna go and get some aspirin baby aspirin and just start taking it like on yeah. a weekly basis that and i feel like magnesium i need to also yeah, yeah. okay good thanks carlos <laughs> i don't think i talk enough about the energy fist that i use like on a daily basis um here a lot of people are asking me to show more of what i eat but I what I drink and this is honestly I've been like I said in previous vlogs I've been working with Arbon for a while and I started Arbon because of this product because of the energy fizz um, it's been it's been incredible uh, it gives me you know that su sustainable energy throughout the day it's nothing like you know that gives you like boost and then you crash like throughout the day, I stay energized with, with my schedule and everything. And it's been really, really awesome. So I just did three hours of work and recording. I have 30 minutes to eat lunch. I'm going to have leftovers from last night. Some chicken and salad. And then I have Pilates from 12 to 1. And then at 1.30, I have nails. And then at 4.30, I have practice. And then I'm gonna finish some work as I as I eat lunch. Uh, this is fine. It's fine. <laughs> We've been having some like serious conversations that cannot be recorded. <laughs> God, if, if we recorded that, I think that would blow up. It's confidential. Oh, it's really confidential. A lot of confidential stuff. Um, uh, today on the menu. So I went to Starbucks. I ordered. They messed up my order. That's why I was late. It's okay. I ordered black coffee with sweet vanilla cream cold foam. That's not what you got. No. And then I get grande, grande, and I ordered tall. Maybe they gave you someone else's drink. Maybe. Grand, I all ordered tall, small. Ice latte, blonde espresso, vanilla ice. That, that woman, that girl was so out of it, I swear. It looks like they gave you someone else's. That's why you gotta order on the app. I know, I was, I decided the last second. Yeah. I said that in the last vlog. Yeah, hey, I just touched this. Yeah, is it burning your eye? Like under my eye. <laughs> Am I gonna make it? You'll be okay. Another injury. Your, your tennis career will make it. <laughs> So she gave me these, um, what are these? Pimple patches. Pimple patches. They're, um, what brand? Yeah, that's what I was going to check because they're really good. Hero? Yeah, no, they're called something else. Hold on. So I went to the facial yesterday and woke up this morning, like, with pimples. like The Mighty Patch. Mighty Patch. For awesome. commercial. Yes. Mighty Patch, can you they sponsor me? <laughs> They're really good. How did you find out about them? I had um, a client give me one once. And I bought them. Overnight, it'll be gone. 
Really? Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Wow. Well, let's see. I'll let you know because it was really bad. Like it was hurting so much. Oh, it doesn't even hurt that much. I'm telling you, it like sucks it out. Look, it's not hurting that much. But what does it have in that's... You, sometimes you don't question. Yeah, if it works, it works. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know why and why not. So I'm using this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just broke out again this morning. Well, that happens after facials. Yeah. Do you do facials? No. Why? Your skin looks great. You do Botox. 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 <laughs> Botox. We'll put that on the list next time. Words for you to pronounce. Okay, can you teach me? <laughs> Botox. Botox. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Wait. So you 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 do Botox? Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> Botox. <laughs> Go again. Botox. Botox. Yes. I mean, I guess we're telling the world now. <laughs> oh, I do Botox. Do Botox. Botox. My Botox is actually. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't like any movement. <laughs> None. I want my eyebrows to just not move. Well, it looks great, but you don't do anything else to your face? Mm -mm. Hmm. I don't. I stay out of the sun. Yeah. It's very important. <laughs> oh, you're preaching to the wrong choir. Here. Yeah. Um, okay, Botox. Boto. No, not Bo. So, so, <laughs> so only the first O is O. Big one, bigger one. You put emphasis in the O. Botox. So first O and then O. Uh, Botox. Hey, you get me. Botox. I'll learn. What was that other word that you said from Jewelry? Jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there are words. There are words. There are other ones that we used to have. Yeah. It's okay though. Um, so what does? What does? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about today. I think we edit this next part out because <laughs> we're cutting that. Cut the part where she's drinking this place. I mean, I don't care. But you care? No, I don't give a shit. So you don't have to cut out. So you don't have to cut out. She's drinking. <laughs> we up my last client of the day. This is how I celebrate every day. Not every day. We upgraded from uh, coffee. Coffee to. High noon, sunset. It's really good. So here's the final product of this masterpiece. I don't think she's ever done better looking nails than this. And it's only because she knew I was going to vlog. So from now on, I'm vlogging about <laughs> the nails every time. <laughs> okay, let's picture. Pick Hello, I just finished practice. Um, I feel a little bit better, but the thing is I took two ibuprofens before, so I don't know if I feel better because of that or why. Um, also, um, I worked today still mostly on my forehand. I worked on some returns as well. The thing is, uh, Sergio told me like I need at least 10 more days like this to train like this. So then my forehand is gonna be great so even if I feel even if I you know feel like I can rally which I still feel like I can't you know I can still um, he still thinks I shouldn't so he says 10 more days of training like this I need it a lot like along with along with um, getting stronger and working on my, so getting stronger and working on my technique on the forehand mostly, those two things. He says that I needed like 10 more days. Yeah, I have this pimple patch here from Gina yesterday. My pimple is still not gone. It definitely wasn't gone overnight. So can find my key. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to do fitness right now, so I have to rush. It would be nice if I could find my key. So, 
I just spent like 20 minutes in front of my house trying to find my car keys. I took everything out from all of my bags from the car. At least I cleaned the car. And they were in my bag the whole time. I'm doing great. Everything is great. <laughs> Keep telling myself that, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> Couldn't turn on the car or anything. Okay. No, dođi da jedemo jaje prvo. Okay, I just made some eggs for us, but the boys don't really want to eat it. So I'm going to eat it. Ah, it's mine, it's mine. I'm not. I'll show you, Asti wants to eat it. Teo, you want some eggs? What do you want to eat? Chicken finger dinosaurs. Chicken finger dinosaurs? But we have to, we don't have time to make that now. Wait, Asti, let me help you. Mom, I have cakes. Here. Yeah. I want to eat pancakes. Pancakes? Yeah, but can you have a bite of, a little bit of, um, here, let's eat this one. Mom. Hey, hey. Mom, first I want to eat pancakes. Then I want to eat popcorn. Pancakes and popcorn? For breakfast, chicken finger, Dinosaurs and pancakes and popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn, popcorn, and pancakes. Dinosaurs. 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 First made popcorn. Popcorn the best. First popcorn? Yeah. Okay. Wait, can I want all the kinds of the food. Of, of the, the what do you, no, but first you need to eat one bite of egg. Look. I don't want to. Then no popcorn. I want to. And just one. Yes, you do. Look. No, no, I don't want to. I don't like it. The table. The table. I still want egg. The fish. Here, Asti. Asti. There, just one. I don't want to. Stop. That to me. If I, if I, I want to go closer. I did eat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go deal with this now. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> We're having really like deep conversations here. And repeat what you said now for the third time. What do you want when you look back upon your life? and you're 90 years old, what do you want it to look like? Yeah, keep going, keep talking, I'm gonna put the... Okay, here I am, good morning. I love, love mangoes, like really love them. But in Bosnia, we didn't have them growing up, so I'm not sure how to how to cut them. So this is what I do. And if you know any other way, please let me know. And then I would usually here like this. Like this. Nothing. And then I cut it. You want mango? Uh, yeah. I have to finish the rest. Okay, so Anne is here today. Oh my God. Look, she put this broom here. 
Kind of like on the forehand side more here. That side. This bottle and I had to stand right there. She was feeding really like fast. And the goal is that I was that I hit the ball like super in front of me. So the angle of my racket is over here at this broom. Today is the first day in a while, like two and a half weeks, I'm moving a lot. And it feels better, like, I feel better, moving better. Um, so, so yeah, good stuff. Talk about how good I am. Babozan, <laughs> <laughs> you start. Let me find the reasons. And follow. how much yeah, better follow. do I need to get? Like. 100% more or like 80% more or like 50% more. <laughs> She's putting me really honest. Yeah, spot. brutally honest. Sergio, what did you say first? First of all, I would focus to, to be healthy. I think that would be the first, the first uh, focus that you should be thinking. Get healthy, get able to move, get able to practice two weeks with no pains, put your body strong enough that you can say, not like I can do this, I can handle this. That would be the first, the first uh, focus that I would have with you. Because we're and working for a month and it's a lot of challenges. For a month, for more than a month. Let's call it a month. More a than a month. Like challenges of your body that I feel like you have to address. Yeah. And that comes from, from many areas, but I address all these areas. I think you need to get to the point where you can play four hours a day without getting tired. I think without getting hurt. No? I'm saying that's the ultimate. When you can play four, four hours, hours a day. Four hours, giving it everything you have and not not being tired. Four hours. Like Sergio? I would be a little bit more humble. I would start with three hours. If we are in three hours... I'm not saying, I just mean like... No, no, that would be a great target. Great. How many times a week? Um. <laughs> How much should I practice? How much a professional tennis player should it's practice? It's different. Everybody is different. You can't gauge. I feel like I don't need that many hours on court. Or maybe I do. Okay, well... I don't know. You do like everybody. Like, what is the weekly, like, how much professionals train? You were on tour for a while. Right. So, how much? I would get up in the morning. I would run soft sand on the beach. Then I would go see my trainer. Who was very, very tough. Fitness and trainer? Fitness. In Hermosa Beach. Troll Subin. Amazing. And then I would go practice two hours and then I would come back and practice another hour and a half maybe two more hours that was on my off that was on an off break while I was on tour okay okay, okay. It basically the way I see it it's your job so people go to a job pretty much nine to five yeah this is your job yeah Sergio yeah it's, it's like she said like just like complementing not just the, the court, the physical training, the warm-ups has to be like there too, the recoveries has to be there too. So basically at the end of the day, all that is achieving your journey. Uh, how, many, how many hours? It's a very critical question because it's like for me, at the moment that you start to lose quality in practices, that's something that you have to be careful. Many people continue training just to put the hours on. Yeah. And that's something that me personally, I don't think, I don't think that's a benefit on the player. Just because people is focused, oh, I have to do those hours. For me, that's not the, the key. For me, is what she says, to be able to do four hours one day and be okay with that, that would be a great goal. And then eventually, it doesn't mean that the next day you have to still do those four hours. <laughs> Maybe the next day you do one hour in a half and you feel great and then you, we say it's enough and yeah, that's enough it's, and now the game is so physical so as you get better technically then then you taper it down and then you don't have to maybe spend as many, as many yeah. hours on the court yeah but 
but right now because you're coming back you haven't been spending oh, yeah enough yeah i need i need repetition yeah you just need repetition um should i practice more no tomorrow should i practice more now or am i done ah, yes i think now you we are in a good moment a yeah more. what we are getting inspired by the drills that Anne is, is showing us so i would like let her do maybe one more why not good job maria Let's go, fire One up. more, vamos. Vamos. Vamos, let's vamos. Let's, let's keep having an inspirational day here. So I canceled my lesson because it got rained out. So I came to a gym and I did a, some of the exercises for my, um, mostly for my back and um, for my posture and just stuff like that. Nothing crazy, very relaxed. So, um, I feel pretty good today. Uh, there's this company reached out to me on Instagram. I don't know, I get, I get a lot of like, constantly like new offers and some things, you know, I wanna try this, wanna try that. But I've been meaning for a while now, oh to try this mushroom coffee um, because I don't know, I just heard good things about it. So I don't know if it's in my head or what it is, but there's something for sure. Um, there's something definitely in it because I had one this morning, I made it hot and 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 then I felt really good, like my focus and just like my alertness, is so much better, so much better. Um, anyways, I had an issue uh, I had to address. Um, so, in order for me to work with a company or to promote the product, I really have to believe it and believe in it and love it. And so, you know, I only had it today. I made the hot one this morning and then an iced one now in the afternoon. Uh, I put one tablespoon of coffee, I put a little bit of honey in the morning and then with hot water and then cold milk. And then in the afternoon, I just put one tablespoon of coffee and then one um and just a little bit of milk with water and ice and it was really good i like it both ways the flavor is definitely different than the regular coffee but it was was really good um and honestly i've been feeling so much more energized today like not just energized i don't know better better maybe i'm just having a good day or maybe it's a coffee hey jim i i have no idea so i will Try it again tomorrow and I'll let you know how how it is and how I feel. So I'll definitely keep you posted. I'm not recording much as when I'm driving, but honestly, like lately I've been so busy that this is really the only time. So I don't think it matters. I know a lot of people are like, don't, but I honestly don't care. Um, so I wanted to share some things. Um, last night I was I spoke to someone and he made a really good, really good uh, comment. He's also a tennis player. Like when he starts feeling anxiety or something, he's like, I just face. He says like, I just face it and I. I'm like okay what is the worst that can happen like I just try to imagine the worst thing that can happen and I face it right so it's like just just try to do that and then breathe and calm down I was like okay well that's a good point um, today also I, um, I woke up I, I just had a lesson one lesson with Irie and then uh, did a podcast with Juan Benitez he's uh, and whoever doesn't know, I do have a podcast as well, and you can see it under my playlist. The Emma, amazing, amazing 
Tennis Podcast. Um, it's here on YouTube, but also if you just want to listen to it, it's on uh, it's on Spotify and Apple as well. So go ahead and listen to those. Uh, some really, really good conversations, really. Um, today was with Juan Benitez. He We met at Baylor. He's a coach. He used to play. Really, really knowledgeable guy. Really nice guy. Really humble. Um, I think he has a really good future. So just pick his brains a little bit. And, you know, he kind of reminded me to focus on the controllables right now. Like what I can control. What's in my power. Um, you know, reminded me that I need to take care of my body better. You know, with stretching, with yoga. To suffer those you know like the situations where I'm like okay I don't feel like stretching right it's boring but to do it to really take time and to prioritize it to prioritize my day around my tennis it's my priority and then schedule the lessons and everything else around that which I've been actually doing and doing a pretty good job about that um, but it was just kind of the one thing that I haven't been really doing good has been the stretching and all that so definitely need to take care of my body I just went for a massage that was nice and I have to go home I have to pack for the rest of the day and really I'm going to take some time in between and stretch and do yoga and some things so some exercises but today is my day off and oh my god I fell asleep a few times during the massage so tired (laughs) So here's the coffee I've been talking about. And it's honestly, it's been great. It's my third day using it. And I still, I still really like it. So I highly, highly recommend it. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of coffee. Here, this is how it looks like. Here, I'm gonna put some water and then ice and then some milk on top and that's it I need it to give me the energy to pack today thank you so much for watching and for supporting me on this journey for more content please follow Tennis with Emma on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel